This morning, the death toll in Tennessee is climbing, and authorities say many people are still missing. At least two dozen lives have been lost to powerful tornadoes, ripping homes and communities apart. Piles of rubble and the devastation of buildings and neighborhoods that behind every pile is really represents people. New images emerging of this ominous warning in the middle of the night, blaring tornado sirens, drowning out live music in downtown Nashville. At least one tornado, a massive EF3, packing winds up to 165 miles per hour. Businesses leveled, at least 48 buildings destroyed. A small regional airport now a heap of mangled metal. Downed trees and snapped power lines, leaving thousands in the dark. Students out of school, some won't see their classrooms again. I just can't even fathom this devastation um, and how long it's going to take to rebuild. Natalie Lau's five-year-old son is a student here. She once was too. She's relieved the school building was empty when the twister struck. I can't imagine what would have happened. I really can't. I'm just so thankful he's okay. Other parents, like Corey Quinlan, taking matters into their own hands, carrying his sleeping seven-year-old son to the basement moments before the tornado reached their home. I was grabbing him to hurry up, and as I was looking up, that whole section sucked up into the sky. And all you could see was just, like I said, all this debris just flying and filling the air. The family narrowly escaping, but like so many others, they're facing a life turned upside down and an uncertain future. We're older and we don't want to deal with the new beginnings. But even in the darkest of days, bright moments, like when Bill Wallace was rescued from his basement. His son saved two from losing his dad. Parents and children, strangers and neighbors already coming together. They've lost plenty, but not hope. I mean, we're strong and we'll just get stronger. We'll, we'll put it back together.